Hey everybody, in this tutorial we'll be creating the shiny lines kind of effect and you can see we have some nice rays here and it's quite simple without using any plugins so let's get into it. Okay, so I have this shot of a car here that I went ahead and played with the timing of it just a bit. As you can see it's drifting and going off. Okay, all I did was pre-compose this and now I'm gonna select the range that I want the effect to apply to. So let's say starting from here, I'm gonna duplicate it, Control shift d and up until here is fine, I guess. Yeah. And all I'm going to do, and I'm going to fast forward this, is mask around the car, create a pretty rough mask here, just so we can have the car isolated for the effect and the range that we want to. Okay, so I have the car pretty much rotoscoped here, as you can see, and this is just to subtract it from the effect up until here, yeah. And as you can see, it's not very accurate, but it works just fine. What I'm gonna do is feather these masks out, so set this to about 20, maybe this one to 50. Okay, so the first effect we're gonna be applying to this layer is find edges. So I'm gonna add find edges, and I'm gonna invert it. As you can see, it creates these type of lines here, which is already looking nice. And we're gonna select a range for it to come in and out, so let's say opacity from 0 to 100, something like this one and up until where we masked, so around here, it should die. Yeah, F9, and let's see what we have. All right, cool. Next, we're gonna be applying color effect here, and I'm gonna show you why I use tritone or tritone, I'm not sure what it's called, instead of tint. So if we take tint, for example, and we wanna make these lines green, the effect we're getting is pretty much black and green. Unlike tritone, if we make the midtones here green, I'm gonna screenshot this and compare it to the tint effect. So as you can see, it's sort of having a lot of white in it as well, so it gives us a little more color to play with, which just looks nicer, so I'm using tritone for this one. Now you can go ahead and apply your favorite glow. I'm just gonna go with the default one and hide the mask. And let's make a bit of a glow here not too crazy, something like so, you don't want to get it too overexposed. The only thing about my shot is that the car is white, so it's easy to get it overexposed. So I'm not going to go too hard here. And we'll set this layer to screen, or additive in your case if you want. It's just going to be too overexposed in my case, so I want to keep some color in it. And let's see what we got. Okay, it's already looking nicely here. All right, so let's duplicate this layer we just created with the effect on it. I'm gonna hide the one underneath it and isolate this one. From this one, I can go ahead and delete the glow. And I'm gonna be adding an effect called CC Fast, CC Radial Fast Blur, here you go. Set this to like 95. And you can already see we're getting these rays type of effects here, which looks very cool. I'm gonna place it around here set a keyframe, move a few frames forward, and set it to go around our car, something like this. Extend this to where we see it. There we go. So basically we're getting this. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Now, if you want, you can play around with the colors like I did. So for example, here is why we use Tritone again. So I'm gonna make this purple, and I can make this something like blue and you can see we're getting this really nice color effect here let's preview this that's pretty awesome so this effect alone can already look great on your shot let's go ahead and unhide this and we can set this to additive instead of screen and i'm actually going to place it underneath our line glows here so we get something like this all right so this is the effect so all I did after this is add a pixel motion blur to it and some color correction. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it was helpful for you. If you have any other requests, please let me know down below. Thanks for watching.